Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD Support and today we are going to discuss about one Amazon great service which uh, it is a AWS service which Amazon really provide which is Amazon Workspace. Okay, So in this video I will let you know step by step how to set up workspace just for you and um, I will I will walk through um, each and every steps and um, if you have any questions you can shoot out in the comments I will describe each and every queries of yours and uh, definitely if you uh, want to stay tuned with future videos just subscribe our channel to get more okay and if you like this just hit the like button okay so let's start I'm already logged into my Amazon um, AWS console okay and uh, what I can do is what we need to do is we need to go to our workspace okay to find the workspace uh, this is Amazon services either you write up the whole uh, service which Amazon gives like workspace here or you can navigate there okay for workspace you need to go to desktop and app streaming okay here you can see there is a workspace okay so you need to click here so it's very straightforward it doesn't have that much uh, that you need to really uh, um, worry about but I will walk through each and every step so I've already created one but before that I will just let you know what are the things you need before you create a uh, workspace okay so it has a directory service as well okay if you go to this directory so it has a directory service in which you need to create a directory because here you can see it's a directory it says by default created so let's say you want to set up a new directory so you need to hit a set up new directory and it will give us uh, give you an option to really uh, utilize your own Microsoft AD and create a Microsoft AD here or simple AD. So by default, I'm using a simple AD which is get created which has required up to 5,000 users. That is way 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 enough for me. And if it is a small organization, then it's great. Okay. So um, it is not going to charge you extra. It is included with the workspace Amazon workspace which you have. Okay. So let me go back because I have already created it. Okay. So uh, what you need to do is you just need to go to workspace. This is the information I just want to just let you know that it has that this directory service is going to be used in uh, uh, with with the ID which you log into this workspace. Okay. So if you go to workspace, so you just need to simply just hit launch workspace. Okay. So when you launch it, it says, okay, you want to use the existing directory which is there or you want to create a new directory. So we have existing directory. I will go with that and I will hit next step. Okay. So here you need to create some users. Okay. So what I can do is let me put my name here, Joy B and uh, put first name and then last name here and give the email address. Okay. And you will hit create user. Okay. So once it is done, you can see uh, it created here and it gives that 20 users can be selected at the time. So at this moment, we have one user which I have added. This is the username and this is the user uh, ID on which we will use to log in. Joy B. Okay. So what is, now we need to click next step here. Okay. So in the next step, you can see these are the options which we can really go for. Okay. So either you go for these are these are the two tiers which you get for free. Okay, you can use it. So if you need a bundle like Windows 7 along with Office 2010, or if you need a bundle standard Windows uh, 10 along with Office 2016, then it is going to charge you extra. Okay. So what I would uh, suggest you to just go with uh, this uh, free tier and check out how how it works for you. Okay. So we can go with this win standard Windows 10 and you can see it is going to give you some bundles along with this particular package like WinZip, Firefox, Internet Explorer 11 those things will be uh, set up so you will select like this let's say we select this uh, Windows 7 here so it is going to give you two CPUs 4 GB of RAM along with 50 uh, GB of storage but you have wider wide variety of uh, uh, options to choose from like you can go to up to 16 GB and 100 GB of space and what I believe that is really enough for uh, for the office works so we have selected Windows 7 uh, uh, we can choose this one Windows 10 and then uh, you will see an option called next okay so 
whatever the option you choose these are the two options which are free we can go for so i will click next okay so now it is giving you a little bit of option which is very um, handy okay because they have a plan on which either you go for a monthly plan for this particular um, uh, workspace or like you pay $25 and, uh, for a month for a workspace or you can go for uh, like paying uh, $8 for a month and it will charge $0.22 cents per hour. The, the, these are the type of plans you can uh, go and check exact the uh, uh, pricing but I'm just giving you an idea so in that case you may uh, like uh, bill by R okay so it has an option you can you can choose auto stop so that means you you are working on your workspace and uh, after some time probably you forget to shut down that particular box so after one hour it will give you a notification and then it will uh, shut down that particular box so it is not once this workspace is shut down then it is not going to bill you uh, bill you okay so so this is a handy feature i have also enabled on my workspace and you can also encrypt your c or d drive which is which is very good and if you want to encrypt you can encrypt it and when you encrypt it is giving you a um, option which option you will choose so I would prefer to go for encryption okay that is also good and once you click next you can give a tag as well uh, that is not mandatory when you click next it will spin up and it will take some time and build your workspace that's it okay so next step what you need to do is once it is ready so you need to go to your workspace and your machine will be visible like this like this here okay so now you can see this machine is ready and uh, uh, it says as stopped. In your case, it will show as uh, in progress. Okay. Once it is ready, it will show as it is powered on. Okay. So or active or available like that status will be. Okay. So let's say we want to power it on. Okay. I will go to action. I've selected this one. I will go to action and I will hit start workspace and I will hit start. Okay. So now you can see it says okay this is it started and I will do a refresh it is starting okay it will take some time because what it will happen is when the machine is spinning up it is using a EC2 instance and it is creating a machine then deploying the software of OS and the additional softwares then it will reach uh, it will join to the domain or a directory which you have okay and then you will have the capability to log in so once it is created you will get an email okay that is very important you get an email let me open a screenshot of that particular email because that has some uh, okay so let me open the screenshot of the email because that has some password which I want to hide up so this is the email which you get okay so they will uh, tell you to really go step by step okay the first link you need to click and once it, you click it will ask you to put the password of your user ID so let's say you can see my user ID is asked to I, which I have already put up okay and now when you click this it will ask you to give the first uh, login credential which you want to set up so this link is for setting up your password for the first time after that you have a link which has a registration code so this registration code is required when you are trying to register any device from which you want to access this workspace that means if you want to access your workspace from your laptop computer you need to register that particular device for the one time okay so for that you pass this password is required and next thing is this is the URL from which you will download the plugin on which uh, you can launch this uh, workspace and get the access to okay so we will uh, I have already done this step the first one okay so now what I'll do is I will do the third step for downloading this app okay let me open that um, console so you can see uh, this is the URL which I need to click so I will click this then it is uh, going to give you an option like if you have Mac OS you can use this one if you have iPad you can use this one Windows Android tablet 
Chrome, then Fire Tablet and Web Access. In case you want to launch it from Web Access, th this is also possible. But I would like to prefer uh, using this one, okay, for Windows because I'm using a Windows machine. So let's download this. Okay, it is asking me to save this. I will click save and then I will um, go to this location and open this installer. It is a MSI. So this will the installer. It's very simple. You need to click next. Okay, so you want to install it for only this user on which you have logged in or for all users. So I will prefer to go with all users and this is my machine. I don't worry about that. So I will um, install it in the same directory which is C program files. It is fine for me. I will click next and hit install. So this process will take a few minutes. Once it is done, then we can launch this um, API and it will ask us to register this device so in that period when it is asking us to register this device we need to give the registration code which has been given in that particular email so you can see this is completed if I go to here now you can see we have Amazon workspace if I click this it is asking to register so here I will put the code and hit register okay so I will hide this I will pause this video and we will see in the next screen okay so now you can see I've put, I've given the um, that registration code it is loading the page and now it gives me the user ID and credential to put okay so before I put the user in the credential but we need to ensure that our machine is available and it started properly okay so for that I need to go to the particular console and I can see it says starting let me do a refresh and see what is the current status it says it is available so that means I can take the console now okay so if I go here now I need to give the pass uh, ID and password okay I will hit sign in so it will authenticate and it will log in and I just want to click yes this is my machine uh, so that you can remember this uh, machine and the password so it is launching and it will take few minutes and we will have a workspace there for you so now I can see we have logged into Windows 10 and it is the Amazon workspace which we are running here okay so if we it, it's a it's a good uh, what I'm seeing is it's 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 having a great performance and it also has a capability in which you can really browse and do whatever things you want to do so if you go to Google and look for our website which is a thing I hit there and here we can see our website we can browse it and it, it, it gives a very good uh, performance that that's really I like it and uh, you can also um, use YouTube and uh, go to our channel which is ask Joy energy I will hit this and I will see that that opens or not but it, it gives a very good uh, hello friends this uh, is Joy energy from so you can see uh, the audio is also able uh, capable enough to really come in so ultimately you are using the bandwidth from this particular um, uh, workspace so that is very good and it gives a very good performance that is I really like I just want to show you one more thing here okay now uh, if I just uh, want to just uh, log out here let's see if we can uh, okay let me cross this out okay and now you can see if you go to the network here so here you can check that what are the things are required okay so if you see if you click that particular network setting it will it will show that TCP IP 4172 and UDP port 4172 it is mandatory to open and network connection internet registration service workspace service these are the service should be alive and at the end it is checking how much really capability of the network is it's just giving a warning it it's not up to the benchmark what Amazon recommends if we click check again it will check the things again but it still works okay if the level where it is not able to really get the ports then then it is a problem which you need to uh, really resolve okay so if I want to reconnect I will hit reconnect here 
so it is authenticating and setting up and launching the session and if I forget to uh, really shut down this machine then what will happen is it will automatically turn off this machine after one hour okay that has already been set there okay as a policy so if you have any question uh, just shoot out in the comment section and uh, hope this is video this, this video is informative for you and in case you have uh, any questions you can get back to me uh, with the comments or to our website and uh, just reach out to me I will be really happy to assist you okay and uh, just subscribe my channel that that is also I want that that is a booster for me if you subscribe my channel and thank you very much for watching this video this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AIK ID support